swatches of the Fall Into Zen, the Hollows collection from Painted Polish or Painted Polish by Lexi, um, depending on how you refer to the brand. Can you um, move your hands to the left a little? To yes, right there. So um, we are on Instagram, on Qu uh, Queen of Nails. We are on YouTube. Um, I'm trying out the go live feature officially on YouTube. And um, thank you all so, so much for following me on YouTube because apparently you have to have 100 followers on YouTube and able to ha have the go live feature. So um, thank you to all of you who jumped on and was able to follow me. So um, that that way, that platform is available. Um, and we are also in the painted polish um why does it sound like somebody's running on steps um we're also in the painted polish fan group on facebook dallas dallas leave it um hopefully dallas will quiet down here a little bit uh there's some people out back so i think he's um a little excited because he wants to go play okay so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to introduce the polishes really quick, making a, a special appearance. Um, tonight, like I said, we have the Fall Into Zen collection. I'm in, I'm okay. okay. Yes, you're in frame. I'm in frame. Um, I have the uh, four polishes from this collection. They are all ultra hollows. Um, up first, I'm going to introduce them and show them to you. Um, up first is uh, Mulberry Musings, and that's this one here. It is a, um, a raisin purple um, with added silver holographic glitter. It's so pretty. And these, um, these are available as of right now. They are $12 each. Or if you get all four, they're forty-five. So you're saving um, twelve. What's four times twelve is what forty-eight. So you're saving yourself about three bucks. Um, this one is Mocha Mantra, and this is like a light brown with. Um, it's described as a light brown with orange, blood orange undertones, and silver holographic glitter. And brown is. It is definitely in this season. Um, it is it is so pretty. It's gorgeous. And this one is Mellow Mustard. And it is described as a mustard yellow with green and brown undertones and silver holographic glitter. And again, these are all um, a fun um, ultra hollow fall colors. So it's very, very pretty. And then this one is Moss Meditation. And it is a moss green with um, the silver holographic glitter. So again tonight, uh, oh, and then also Lexi was a doll um, and she sent me her um, uh, highly acclaimed, if you will, Midnight Mischief, which is her black cream polish, um, uh, stamping polish. So I'm excited to be able to try this. I'm going to try, I'm going to, um, I've never tried it before. So I'll be stamping over all four of these polishes using this polish as well. So we'll test out, um, this polish as well. What addiction polish says hello. And hello, hello. J-E-C. PhD 320. Uh-huh. Says, sorry if I missed this. I just joined. Who's doing your filming and directing? <laughs> oh, I'm, shout I'm sorry. I didn't shout him out. Um, as always, the man behind the camera is the one and only <laughs> um, King of Nails 82. He is my husband, Jason. He's um, he, he keeps me in line. So, you know, a few housekeeping rules, as they say at my job when we're on a on a call. If you can't hear, can't see, blame Jason. Um, if it's blurry, if there's any technical issues, that's Jason's fault. Okay. I only can, I only can do, I only can manage what you guys see here. Anything, um, anything else is all Jason's fault. So, um, sorry for, sorry for not shouting you out. So yeah, not see, what are you doing? It's not charging. Okay. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get started again. These are, um, 
uh, the Fall Into Zen, the Hollow Collection. Um, we're doing live swatching this evening. And if we have time, I will also be testing their water marbling abilities. So my first coat, I normally go in pretty thin, um, and you, I have to apologize because um, this isn't like my normal, my, my hands are a little further away from me than I would like them to when I'm painting my nails, but I'm trying to keep it in frame because on the iPad we are live on YouTube, so... And I can't hold that. Yeah, so. and so that's kind of like propped up against the lint roller. You guys should see it. It's so makeshift. It's so funny. But, you know, whatever works, right? So, um... Hey, Becky. Hey, Christy. So, if you see, uh... If you see, um... It's a little... My swatches are a little messy. It's because my... Literally, I feel like my hands are like a foot away from me right now. They're not, but it just... That's how it feels. Becky and Christy says hello. Hey, boo! Um... So this, I try to apply my first coat kind of thin, um, and that's just so that I can get, like, uh, why did I do that? Um, I'm just going to do three fingers. I didn't mean to, I was going to do two of each, but I guess I got kind of carried away. So, um, shoot, hold on. Brief intermission. What do you mean intermission? We just started. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I didn't mean to do three fingers. I got excited because the, it was so pretty. Um, uh, so I'm taking this off because I wanted to do. do, oh, do, 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 do. I wanted to do two, uh, a, two sw um, swatch two fingers of each color. So I'll repaint that middle one with um, my base coat really quick. So this is one coat of. Um, Mulberry Musings, um, the coverage is very, very nice, um, I will definitely go in for a second coat, that, um, that silver glitter is really popping, um, the color is fantastic, the application, no problem, very, um, I hate to say that it's thin because I don't want you guys to think like, oh, it's like water because it's not. But it's it's not it's not too thin. It's not too thick. It it applies very very nicely. Um, I have to say that I'm impressed with it. Um, I um I don't own any holographic. I don't own any hollows by painted polish. I usually snag a lot of like uh, the glitter polishes and a lot of the glitter crellies. So um so this this is a first for me. So um. I don't have anything to compare it to like her other, uh, to Lexi's other polishes, but I will have to say that this is very, very pretty. And I love, I love like this, like, um, this deep, uh, I've got, um, uh, what's this, like a raisiny, plummy sort of color. I think it's perfect for the fall. And again, these polishes are available now. $45 for all four, $12 um, individually. So again, that was one coat of Mulberry Musings. And now I'm going to go with Mocha um, Mantra. I'm going to do it on this hand because that middle finger, um, that sticky base coat isn't dry yet. Am I still okay? Mm hmm <laughs> And who am I kidding? I say, you know, my hand's far away, and that's why I'm getting it all over the place. You guys should see, like, when I'm swatching, <laughs> polish is always all over the place. Thank goodness for cleanup brushes and acetone, because um, I'm not a very neat and polisher. Um, okay, so that's one coat of Mocha Mantra. Very, very pretty. Um... I think that these are going to be perfectly opaque in two coats. Um, with one, I still have a little bit of visible nail line, but, you know. Um, Mad Hatter says, how, how late am I to the party, and what have I missed? Um, you're not late at all, actually. We just got started. I have done um, two polishes from the Fallen to Zen collection. Um, on this hand, I have uh, Mulberry Musings. 
And on this hand, I have Mocha Mantra, again, one coat of each. And this is a collection, this is a quad, so there's four polishes. Um, and I, I'm like 99% sure that if you're going to Polish Con, Lexi will have these available. So, um, you know, definitely keep that in mind if you're, if you're going to Polish Con. All right, so now on to my third swatch. Oh, wow. Um, this is, this is like, a, like a golden-y sort of yellow. Oh, that's really pretty. Um. Wow, that's gorgeous. I can't stop looking at it. Look at that. <laughs> um, this is um, Mellow Mustard. Um, it's it's really, really pretty. It's it's almost kind of like... Yeah, I mean, mustard is probably the closest descriptive um, color that I could give to it. But it's it's also like a like golden, almost. It's, it reminds me of... Um, it reminds me of a, I don't know, like a, like a, I don't know. I, I Like, I don't want to say honey, but like a honey, you know what I mean? Okay, sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm done um, just adoring this polish. The Mad Hatter mm -hmm. says, they look beautiful. I ordered mine plus the creams from Rainbow yeah. Creams in UK yesterday. Hoping to have them by Friday, and I can't wait to try them. That's gorgeous on you. Oh, thank and you. And I'm not, I'm not neat either. Last <laughs> out loud. I use a doggy training, training of, and I have that male mat, nail male mat, and I oh, still the one from ruined, Triple T. And I still ruin my kitchen table with <laughs> acetone and nail glue. Oh, I know. It's terrible. I, I have literally polish everywhere sometimes. I just, I, and, but you guys don't see it because I'm like, I got to clean up. I don't want to look like a complete slob on camera. <laughs> but I, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I think, uh, I think most of us could probably take out stock in cotton balls and, and acetone. It's crazy. Dallas. Dallas. Um, okay, so just a, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even show you guys. So this green is called Moss Meditation, and that green is, is gorgeous. I love this. I love this shade of green. It's so pretty. And this is, again, one coat of, um, one coat of each. So we're gonna go ahead in for a second coat, and um, and see how that. TD nailed it. Says, hate to leave, but it's dinner time. Oh, I know. Glad, <clears throat> glad I got to see the mustard. Placed an order this weekend and took it out of my cart. Sad face. Oh. All right. So yeah, there it is. Perfectly, I mean, for me, that is perfectly opaque in two, in two coats. I know it. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't want to go too late, um, depending on where you're at. I'm on the East Coast, so I apologize if this is dinner time. But the great thing about it all is that um, you could always come back and rewatch it. The coverage on one coat looks great. Yeah, it does. Um, and Christy said, I'm digging that mustard. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? All right, so this is now two coats of um, Mulberry Musings, and it is so pretty, so pretty. All right, so now I'm going to switch over to this hand, and I am going to go in with uh, my second coat of Mocha Mantra, 
And um, so just to let you guys know that there will not be a formal review up on my blog. And the only reason for that is because these polishes are already available. I didn't want to delay it until like um, the beginning of October. Um, I wanted to be able to provide a review um, sooner rather than later. So that's why I decided to do live swatching. Damn, so Dan says hello. Hey, Jamie. So that is why I'm doing the live swatching. So I have a question. You have a question? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you got the mustard, right, on one of the nails? I have mustard on two. On two of the nails. Say if you take one of these other polishes, can you put it over top? Would you still be able to see the mustard? No, probably not. I would probably would never do that. Oh. I mean, I'm sure you could, but I probably wouldn't. Hi, Jamie. Um. All right. So now we have two coats of uh, Mulberry Musings, two coats of Mocha Mantra, and now I'm going to do a second coat of the um, uh, Mellow Mustard. Mad Hatter said, even your nails on your Cindy hand looks awesome. Ugh, thank you. That's Cindy hand. You guys know. You guys know about Cindy. Matt Hatter says mine look completely. Mine look completely different to my swatch hand. <laughs> I try. I try to keep them. Um, I try to keep my Cindy, even though because she doesn't get much love. I try to show her a little bit. I try to at least keep her filed down as much as possible. Um, but this hand. It, this is my Cindy hand is the one that normally breaks, but she's been acting pretty good. I think she's trying to she's trying to come into her own. <laughs> Jamie said, "Yes, I agree. My Cindy messed." Um. So this is now two coats of the mellow mustard. And now I'm gonna go in for a second coat of um, moss meditation. She said, I'm, I'm trying to leave, even out. Yeah. Um, Stop! Can you give me one second? So Jason had to put the phone down. So you guys can just hear me. You can't see me. All right, Jason's back. Sorry. <laughs> Told you guys it's all his fault. Okay, so so we officially have two coats of each of the four polishes. Um, I'm going to run through them really quick. I'm going to throw on a top coat because I want these to dry because I want to play around with the mid... Um, Forgive me, uh, Midnight Mischief, which is the black cream stamping polish. So I want these to dry. So um, as I top coat them, I'll run through them. Um, on this hand that I'm painting now, this is Mulberry Musings. Again, this is the um, the raisin colored um, polish, purple polish. And then um, the next color is um, Mellow Mustard. And this, oh, this color, you guys, I, 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 I tend to go for more of like the darker vampy colors during, uh, I'm about to say during Halloween, during fall. But um, this one is, I mean, this one is so perfect. I mean, it's, it's, it's perfect. And then um, this one is Mocha Mantra. And again, I did two uh, uh, swatches on two fingers, and they're in it with two coats each. 
my base I used was Base Coat by Glisten and Glow, and I'm currently topping them with um, Top Coat by Glisten and Glow. And, um, like I said, uh, if you're going to Polish Con, I believe uh, the, uh, the Fall into Zen collection will be available. Um, but don't quote me on that. I'm just, because they're already out um, in the shop, I guess I, I'm just assuming that they will be. Uh, Polish Con, you guys. Who's counting down? Polish Con is in T minus three days. Really? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Also on Saturday to Saturday? Yeah. Okay, so there they are. Again, sorry for um the not so neat swatches. If I had if if I was if I was gonna be taking pictures of these, I would definitely have out my um my cleanup brush and acetone. But again, there's two coats of each with just um a base coat and top coat. And they are completely opaque. There's no visible nail line. That green is, I'm loving it as well. Um, so I'm going to let these dry. And then I'm, so while we're waiting for those to dry. Yummy. And while we're waiting for those to dry. So I don't have any water down here. This is a first. So I'm going to use this, like, water that's been sitting here. And hopefully it doesn't, like, mess up. So we're going to try their, um, their water marbling abilities. Mad Hatter says, I wish I could go. I really thought I'd travel for it this year, but unfortunately my bank... My bank, my bank balance wouldn't allow travel. I know that's right. From Ireland isn't cheap. Oh my goodness, no. Okay. Jamie says so quiet in here. In in here at my house. I'm thinking. That's because we just kicked the kids out of the basement. <laughs> we were like, uh, go upstairs. You know, you guys know how kids are. They're like little. You're like your shadow, literally. Can you see this? A little, yeah. I mean, it's okay. It's, that's fine. All right, so I'm trying to water marble in absolutely no particular order. Um, so as far as they spread very nicely, as you can see, this water is probably, I don't know, maybe two or three days old now. I don't think I've ever seen you water marble with, like, the sparkly one. With sparkles? With the sparkles? Um, t typically I don't, but I do like to test, um, to see, you know, if they do. I have with the, um, and, and they look really nice. I would definitely, definitely, gosh, I can't even talk, recommend using, like, um, a white base. Um, Jamie where's my says, water marble tool? I think she's referring to the kids. She said, uh, they don't want to have nothing to do with, do with us until they have, uh, until we're doing something without them. Oh, my gosh. And there's no school here. Um, so they're going to be home with me all day tomorrow, you guys. And Krista Close says hi. Hey, Krista. So I'll have... Um, it'll, be like a, it'll be like the summer all over again when the kids were here. All right. Um, what do I want to do? Oh, I need a... Oh, that's interesting. I didn't expect them to spread out on the water that easily. Yeah. Um, it looks like they do a really good job, actually. So I'm just going to go in just for a quick little something or other. Nothing fancy. Not that I really know how to do anything fancy as far as designs. Um, I typically stick with this, like, zigzag or, like, this linear sort of deal. Like, the flower petals and then... Shouty what what says hey Kristen. um so there so it does spread um you could also do something like that if you wanted to so yes we give these a thumbs up as far as their water marbling ability but you didn't pick it up with nothing like your I finger. didn't no so 
Because my nail isn't prepped with any with the white polish. Yeah, but still, like, but still how do you red. know it's going to do it? Because they spread. Very cool. Didn't even know they would work. Painted polish by Lexi. That's the Lexi. She's the one who made the polish. Well, she made the polish? <laughs> hey, Lexi. I can't believe you don't remember her from PolishCon when we went to New York. I Who's... literally ran up to her. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't know. I know. Oh, see, this is see. I th- I didn't I didn't clean it. I didn't clean the water. See that film that was still on there. What film? Pictures? No, no, no. Oh, gosh. Cause this water is like ridiculous. And I, did you see that? Me? Yeah. See what? Oh my god. I see stuff in there. I need to. Oh, it's um, like somebody drank it and they left floaties in there. <laughs> Ew! I need to get new water. Um, so that's why I'm surprised that they even spread because, like I said, this water has been sitting here. Um, at the last minute, I was like, let's see if they will water marble. So I'm sure with the fresh water, um, and I just use tap water and I let it sit out um, for maybe like all of, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. Um, or so, before I go... Oh, I don't want to put that one right next to that color. Let's go with this one again. Um, I mean, I'm doing it, I'm doing these in no particular order, you guys. I'm literally just throwing them in there. Um, um, I usually let my water sit out just so that it gets a, to be room temperature. And then... Um, I'm using a lot of this yellow, as you guys can see. I must like it a lot. Um, so, so that it be, you know gets room temperature, it's not too cold. You don't want your water too cold because then they, um, for me, I've always had a problem with them spreading if the water is too cold. So, um, and that's usually, I'm like, if I'm trying to test the water marbling and I'm like, they won't spread, a lot of times I'll try like, like just different variables, I guess, if you will. Like, is the water too cold? Is... Um, is the water too warm? You know, it's just, um, and some, some, some of them will water marble better. I, I, um, I will use like a small, uh, bottled water, like, a, I guess if it's, um, like bottled water, um, you know. Jamie says, I need to water, I need to marble. It's been a while. Crystal's claws says, I ah. need yellow. All right, so let's, um, yeah, water marbling is so much fun. If you guys are going to PolishCon, I hope you have signed up for the water marble tutorial. It's going to be fun. You're doing that again this year? Who, me? I'm not going to PolishCon. Well, I thought they were going to, like, Skype you in or something. Seriously? <laughs> yes, let, let me run that by uh, Mariah. Um, by the way, Mariah, you can Skype me in for a water marble tutorial. No, it's, um... More flower nails. Hi. It's Melissa. Uh, Melissa, right? Yeah, Honeybee Nails. She will be doing the water marble tutorial. So, um, you guys, there's a lot of great... Uh, uh, um, to, I don't... Um, the tutelet. No. <laughs> um, tutorials that are going to be going on. So, I hope you guys signed up for one. Um, I'm not 100% sure if there is still time. So, go check it out if you're in the Polish Con... Um, fan group on Facebook. Is Lexi still in the group, in the room? In the chat? Mad Hatter says, I'm excited to get my hands on them. Fingers crossed for a delivery tomorrow. I cannot wait for mustard. That's going to be the first one I wear. Yeah, baby. And Lexi, I haven't posted the Polish Con stuff, but oh, okay. it will be posted soon. Okay, so... Awesome, thank you. I think I'll... I, so, you guys just heard that, um, or read that. Lexi said that she will be posting Polish Con polishes soon. Um, so, hopefully, you know, check it out if you're in the group. Um, a lot of the makers are posting, like, um, shopping lists. Let me tell you guys, shopping lists literally saved my life when I went to Polish Con. I went on there, and I um, printed them all out. Every single one, whether or not I was going to buy it from or not, um, but it just helped me to have the paper right in front of me. And I literally was like I was at the grocery store, 
and I marked off, um, like I gave it like three stars if I had to, had to, had to have it. And then, um, then like, you know, to two stars in, uh, or to like one star. And the only reason I did one star was because I wanted it. But if for any reason they were sold out by the time I got to the table, because maybe it was like a limited edition or, you know, there was just so many people. I was like, okay, well, this is the one that I can maybe live without. Or I knew that they were going to have it on their site later. Um, so then that's when I was like, okay, I'll just wait and get it later. Like a lot of them, I did that a lot with, um, CBL, um, Colors by LaRose. So I, I wanted them, I wanted them to get them at PolishCon, but I was like, you know what? If I have to wait, I will, because I really want this exclusive or I really want this other limited edition. So, um, but I'd highly recommend printing out the, um, the, the, the shopping lists. Julie says Hello. Julie Saban? Yeah, she forgot. <laughs> hey, boo! Okay, so here is my second att um, my second water marble. I have another question. Okay. From Jason. Okay. Oh, don't wait. Don't. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Like, say if you took a bottle of nail polish, right, and then just dipped it in there, would it stick to the nail polish? Yeah. Bottle? Yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't have to just water marble your nails. You can, so why don't you do that ever? I, I don't know, because I don't have a bottle of nail polish, polish that I'm willing to do that with. All right, so I'm going to get out a plate. I'm just going to grab a plate. All right, so you could pretty much dip anything in there, and it'll stick. I believe like, so. Would it stick, like, long-term, or would it just I don't know if, you have to, if you're able to top coat it or not. I top can, coat I, it. No, dude, would you have to put the white stuff down that you put on your fingers first? What white stuff? The white nail base. Like the liquid latex? A white base? Yeah. What? Or something that is going to stick to. Will it just stick to the bottle? I have no idea. I could not tell you. Um, Lula says hi. Oh no, she's talking to the other lady. Sorry. All right. So I, I said it's always easier for me. To be like I'm just gonna pick a plate, but I'm always just like, no, I don't like that one. <laughs> Christmas All right. ornaments. Yeah, Julie. I think I did. I have seen people do it with. Oh yeah, the Christmas the rims, ornaments. You got it with the rims, but I didn't. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and like the little motorcycle like helmets when they like dip it in, you know. Nope. You don't. Okay. I don't have a motorcycle, so I don't know. Well, whatever. We're not gonna get into that. All right. Um. All right. Sorry. So, I wanted to use. I don't know which plate. This is. Uh, all right. Pick a plate crystal. Like seriously, we're just gonna see how the black looks. I mean, it shouldn't be this darn difficult, but it is for me because I want it to be like. I want it to be great. Okay. So I'm just going to use um, Let's Doodle. It's a Lena plate. It was just right on top. Um, I'm using my Fab Your Nails scraper, or stamper, um, along with uh, the scraper. A stamper and scraper from Fab Your Nails. Oh, shoot. But you have my lint roller, so how does that work? Okay, hold on. Use some tape. No, I'll use my other lint roller. Why do you have those? Where did you get those? The dollar store. Why do you have so many? Because I stamp a lot. So, but what if somebody needs to remove some lint? <laughs> They're out of luck. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to be testing um, the uh, Midnight Mischief. Again, this is the... You got to uh, get it down some more for YouTube. Oh, sorry. This is the Black Cream Stamping Polish from um, Painted Polish. This is my first attempt using it. So, uh, simply... Neological water marbled mini pumpkins. Hmm. It takes me forever to pick a plate, too. I'm gonna boot. I'm hungry. Okay. Baby. Huh? I bulk buy them, too. Half for cat hair, the other half for polish. There you go. She's a lint remover hoarder. <laughs> I literally go in, and they're looking at me in the dollar store like, seriously? I'm like, yeah. And Julie says, I don't have a motorcycle. Maybe you need one. My be don't give him any ideas. My boyfriend has used my polish for random motorcycle things. We made a headlight into a rear tail light. Very helpful. Have you not tried any of her stamping creams? I have not. Using? I have not. This is my first time um, using any of the painted polish stamping. Um, and they they are very, very nice. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this one didn't transfer, only because um, I'm just I'm taking an opportunity to sh show you guys on the um, um, on the stamper how well and um, the image picked up 
with this polish so I'm not even going to attempt to use this one because like I said it just um, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like on the stamper like so. I said I hoard them too love my lint rollers you, you gotta mix with glitter too right. and Julie said I like I like don't want to use any others Whoa, look Even at that. Even just regular creams, they're the most creamiest. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, all? Oh. Hold on, which finger are we looking at? This one. Okay. That's gorgeous. Swatch Slayer joined. Swatch Slayer, hey, yeah. All right, so <laughs> just a quick re ooh, ooh. Just a quick recap um, for anyone that is just joining. Um, I am doing live swatches. Oh, shoot, that was me. Julie said, "Show me that green swatched." Oh, I, I am. Um, what am I gonna do? Oh, I might have to clean off the plate. Um, I was being lazy. Um, so I did. I'm um, doing live swatches of the Fall Into Zen, um, the Hollows Quad. By Painted Polish. Um, uh, what color is on your ring finger? Um, this ring finger is Mulberry Musings. It is gorgeous, and Drop this is, it. and this is two coats. Wow. Dallas is being such a like he is being such a child right now. You're looking at the pinky, right? Yeah. It's not in the YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. Back up. Sorry. Don't yell at me. Um, so <laughs> uh it's always it's always a show with Jason and I. Um I might have to start charging people. <laughs> um but no, I have not used any of uh hey. Lexi's uh creams. Um so this is um, a nice turn of events. I like, uh, and I was actually, um, so I'll be very honest. So as far as my stamping polish goes, I usually use Mundo de Unias or MDU. And so I have recently, <laughs> and so I recently, um, Dallas. you know, um, but if anybody has ever ordered from MDU, they know that, um, you know, sometimes ordering can uh take a while so i'm i'm i like that and then i and i also like that lexi does like the um the stamping like i think she had stamping in spring so um i'm going to have to look into those no um that's jason yelling at the dog what finger am i looking at this one the green all right julie said i want to order these so bad do but it, I'm trying to it. be patient and wait for the creams to release too. Oh, um, I was a MDU only girl until I built up my painted polish creams. Oh, I gotta put my kiddo to bed. Gorgeous crystal, shorty. What what? Okay, Christine. See you later. I too would be having my kids go to bed, but there's no school tomorrow. So my my um, my great parenting skills say let them stay up late tonight. That way they'll sleep in tomorrow. Well, <laughs> uh, Julie says Lexi ships in like less than twenty five hours. It's amazing, twenty five or twenty four. Um, okay, hold on. I'm gonna try one more thing, you guys. I don't have any painted polish. Well, this is a great collection to Swatch start to, to start with. Um, uh, Aluminous says. Oh, hi. hey, Aaron. Lexi ships really fast. I am going to. I don't mean to cut you off, babe. I'm sorry. I am going to. I wanted to find another image. I don't know which one I want to do. I'm gonna try to stamp with. Stamp with these polishes. Leave it. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I'm going to have to do that again, you guys, because... <sighs> Crystal Claw said that never works for me, letting them stay up. I know, they're still up at the butt crack of dawn. Julie said, painted polish is my newest black hole, and it's a beautiful <laughs> one to be in. It is. 
um, like I said, I am, I don't have any of the hollows, so um, of Lexi's hollow. So this is this was um, a nice welcome treat um, to add to my collection from this brand. I usually, um, like I had, like I was saying before, I usually tend to stick with the um, uh, her uh, uh, glitter Crowleys. Oh my gosh, they are they are so pretty. I love them. And now, I don't know if Jason's getting the, st the stamping mat itself, um, because I didn't prep my nails with a coat of white. Um, I'm just testing them really quick over white. Can you see this? See what? Right here. Yeah. So, I'm... I'm YouTube can't see it, though. Okay, well, I'll, I'll adjust so we can let our friends at YouTube see. Now, babe? Yeah. All right, so I am... I just so so really quick. What it, I can't remember what I was saying because you guys know I'm a little absent-minded sometimes. So um, as far as coverage and polish and application and formula, um, I really really like these polishes. Um, I think it's a they're a great collection to have just for just for the colors themselves. I think they're perfect for the fall. Um, if you are a person who only wears certain colors during certain seasons, I'm one of those people who do not care. I'm gonna wear it if I like it. Um, I will wear neons on Christmas. So um, Julie said, "I got, I got and used my first Crelly today. I have literally never used a Crelly. Lexi has changed my ways." <laughs> oh yes. Um, and so I do like these polishes as, uh, you know, for, you know, for their intended purpose of, of the polish, the color. Um, I'll go through them one more time. I just wanted to get, uh, show some swatches. I think I already did this one. I don't think I did the brown. Um, they do water marble. Um, I did two different, um, two, two different looks, uh, as far as water marbling. So they do spread very well in two or maybe even three day old water. Um, so, um, I think that they're great for, for water marbling. Again, I would definitely recommend using a, um, a white base when you water marble. Um, what else? So I've attempted the stamping. Hopefully Jason is, is getting that. Are you getting it? Yep. Okay. Everywhere. Um, so here is the, um, the mocha mantra. Here is the mellow mustard. I'll try to do it like this. Maybe this is better. This one down here is the, um, uh, moss meditation. And then over here is the Mulberry Musings. So here, here's how they stamped over just, um, you know, on, on a mat. So I would definitely say that they would, you know, stamp um, the same way over a, a, um, a white base. Um, I could try it over black, but I don't think you guys would be able to um, see it. So I would definitely recommend these over a white base. Uh, what else? What else did we do with them? Like I said, they are um, easy to apply. I'm, what I'm going to do really quick is, to, to finish this out, is apply um, a, a, a clear, or excuse me, a top coat over the stamped um, fingers because that will make, that makes it pop, it makes that stamping pop. Um, what I use for the stamping is Midnight Mischief. Um, Lexi has an array of colors for, um, uh, for stamping polishes. Look at that. Hello, beautiful. Um, so I always say, even like when you're doing, you're doing nail art, if you're like, oh, I really don't know if I like this, top coat, right? And then it, like, a top coat really does something. To, it, it just brings, it pulls everything together, gives it that glossy, you know, finished look. And, you know, you may be changing your tune a little bit. Like, at first I was like, I don't know how I like this black over this green, right? Because they're kind of two dark colors. But this top coat um, has really made the black stand out. So you can see it better. Hopefully Jason's getting this so you guys can see it. Are we getting it? All right, so let me run through the colors just one more time. 
Um, and then I think we will be done. So on this, on these two fingers, I have Mulberry Musings in two coats. The pinky is shown with um, a stamping nail art. And then the index finger, excuse me, my ring finger um, just is a base coat, two coats of Mulberry Musings and a top coat. It's, it's, it's so pretty, you guys. It really, really is. And then on these two fingers, I have um, Mellow Mustard. Um, on the middle finger, I have it um, stamped with Midnight Mischief. And then on the index finger, I just have two coats with a base and a top coat. That is so pretty. I'm, like, looking at it in the phone because it's that pretty. Um, okay. And then on this hand, on the pinky and ring finger, I have a Mocha Mantra. The pinky is stamped. And then the ring finger just has the um, the polish with two coats and base coat. And then um, finally to round out the quad, I have uh, moss meditation in two coats. Um, and then the ring finger has the. Excuse me, not ring finger. My middle finger is the one that is stamped. And everybody's pretty much saying top coats make a difference. Top coats, I'm telling you what, <laughs> you better believe it. Nothing is complete until you top coat. So here is, I guess, the, the, the final look. Like I said, they so, you know, um, polish-wise formula application, they get an A for me. Um... Uh, water marble, a check, they spread very well. Um, stamping, again, if you're doing it over a light color, check. Um, I don't, even for them not being stamping polishes, they do, you know, stamp very well. Uh, let's see. Um, if you're looking to try out, or if you if you haven't stamped before and you're looking to, you know, get into stamping, I would, I would highly recommend Midnight Mischief. It's a great black... Um, um, it's a great black uh, cream, um, and I have not used it as like a, you know, just to wear as a, like a, as a, I guess a regular polish, if you will, but um, I'm sure it's probably a, a one coater. Um, so I'm very, very pleased with these. So just to end the night on a, a, on a high note. Um, Lexi was, is so amazing, you guys. She sent me the, the, um, the hollow, and she also sent me the creams. So they will release in a couple of weeks. Um, let me know in the comments if you would prefer live swatches or if you would like a, um, um, I guess a f more formal review on my blog. I will, um, I'll go with whatever the, uh, the majority would like to see. But they are creams, um, and they are comparable shades to the hollow polishes. Matt Hatter says, Ooh. thanks for taking the time to do Oh, yeah. And water marble testing for us. Oh, I love Lexi doing says, this. yes, thank you. Love, love, love. I love this stuff. <laughs> Any excuse to play and polish. I mean, seriously? We all love lives. You're great live. Oh, thank you. Love swatches. And I love creams. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to to play with those creams. You guys know I love creams. Love I love lives. them. Thank you. Hope to get con hope to get cons one at hmm? I vote live. Okay. All right. Well, it sounds like the lives have it. If Lexi, if that's okay with you, I would be I would love to be able to to you know, do this again with the creams. Um, like I said, uh, if you... Julie said they're going to change your life. <laughs> um, and then we get to play, and I'll do the same sort of deal, right? So I'll swatch them. Um, we'll play with the water marbling. I'll get some fresh water then, and then we will test them out with stamping. So um, stay tuned for the, for the creams. Um, so I, I think we're going to go ahead and sign off because you guys know Instagram only gives us an hour. Sometimes it seems shorter than that. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, again, um, I'll share the video 
on Instagram uh, for the next 24 hours. It's also, we were also live in the actual fan group, which is the Painted Posse, P-O-S-S-E, um, on Facebook. So if you're not in the fan group, make sure that you go over and join the fan group. Um, and also on uh, YouTube, uh, which is, you know, just qu the Queen of Nails 83 on my YouTube. I went live there as well. So um, I Ian think... Ian said, I love lives, but half the time they're past my bedtime. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I know, you guys. I, it's so hard with everybody being in different um, time zones and countries and, I, you know... Um, so I will do my best. Maybe next time, you know, maybe we'll just keep them to, to weekends. So that way we can stay up um, and not have to worry about work the next day. So. What about it? Oh, yeah. Can I? S yes. <laughs> All right, so um, let me got, let me know if you guys have any questions. Feel free to shoot me a message um, if I didn't answer something in the video. Um, Mad Hatter said it's 1 a.m. where she is Oh, now. my gosh. But she's a night owl, so she don't mind. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I, I, could, I, I don't function very well um, if it gets too late. But like I said, here on the East Coast, it's just almost 8 o'clock. So, you know, there's that. Um, so yeah, um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, the videos will be up and like I said, if you have any questions, you know, um, or you have any questions or comments about the video, shoot me a message, um, go join the Facebook group. Um, and like I said, look for Lexi's shopping list. Um, if you're going to Polish Con, look for Lexi's uh, shopping list to be posted soon. And, um, like I said, this, the Zen collection is available. This is not part of the collection. Let me take this out. The Zen collection is, um, available now for $45, um, for the quad. And then, um, individually they are, uh, it's, they're $12 a piece. So save yourself the three bucks and go buy the entire quad. So that's it from Jason and I here tonight. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. 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 I'll sing us out. To the loo, to the loo. Oh, to the loo. Just post right for Facebook. Mm hmm. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes.